in this study, we uh, wanted to assess the white matter lesions in uh, patients with epilepsy. Uh, what are white matter lesions? Those are uh, areas of, of bright, high-intensity uh, signal in the white matter detected on uh, T2-weighted images. And it has been known from earlier results that uh, those are associated with cognitive impairment, especially in the elderly. Uh, so why are we interested in uh, white metal lesions? Um, first, the decline of cognitive function is one of the most frequent comorbidities disease in uh, epilepsy. And uh, it's known that uh, patients with epilepsy usually have a relatively high prevalence of white metal lesions. So um, we wanted to investigate whether uh, white metal lesions in patients with epilepsy were also associated with cognitive decline. Um, so we uh, did a high resolution MRI examination at 3 Tesla. Uh, we acquired uh, T1-weighted and uh, T2 relaxometry and flare sequences. We included uh, uh, 32 patients with localization-related cryptogenic epilepsy which means that uh, these patients did not uh, show any abnormalities on the clinical uh, uh, MRIs. And uh, we included 16 healthy volunteers. So the assessment of the white metal lesions were done in two ways. Uh, one visually by an exper experienced uh, neuroradiologist and uh, one with a segmentation algorithm I'm uh, going to present to you. Uh, it's an automatic uh, detection technique using uh, regional intensity evaluation. And of course, if you can um, use this, these techniques, uh, then it, the process is uh, uh, easier and uh, uh, takes less time. So what did we do? Um, we, um, we looked at the um, flare intensities on the regional level. Uh, this is an agreement with uh, clinical practice where a neuro neuroradiologist he examines brain images by uh, yeah, looking at local signal intensities alterations. So he compares the signal intensity of a certain region with yeah, local uh, surrounding regions. Um, this is in uh, contrast with uh, other um, detection algorithms that use a global uh, cutoff. We, we wanted to do it locally. And uh, we also made a differentiation between subcortical and periventricle uh, white metal lesions. And the aim was simply to assess the performance of our uh, automated uh, detection technique. Uh, so the visual assessment has been done by an experiment, uh, experienced neuroradiologist. Uh, we used uh, the criteria from the Rotterdam scan study. Um, and that uh, these um, criteria has, have also been validated locally in our institute in Maastricht. So uh, the, the neuroradiologist um, he examines the MRI data and he draws uh, circular arrow wise and eventually you get for the uh, subcortical uh, white metal lesions you will get the total volume in uh, cubic millimeter and for the periventricle uh, lesions you, you get a degree of severity and uh, on the right I don't think it's really uh, clear but these are um, it's a template with how you can grade the severity and then uh, eventually you get the severity uh, of the frontal let me see the frontal caps, the bands, and the occipital caps, and those range from one to three, and eventually we summed all these scores together, yeah, a global score of severity for periventricle white metal lesions. So um, the automated, automated assessment um, included a pre-processing pipeline, so uh, we wanted to yeah, have nice data before to um, before we applied the algorithm. So first we the segmentated uh, our tissue from uh, CSF. So we, we uh, used that, uh, for that we used the uh, T2 relaxometry. And then the uh, images were skull script using the BAT skull script, script um, uh, algorithm. We uh, transformed uh, the data into uh, the standard MNI space using uh, SPM2. For the more um, T1-weighted images were segmented to, to yield the gray matter, white matter, and also CSF uh, information. And eventually for each person we obtained an uh, individual specific wall cerebral map and a ventricle map. And um, those were based on the actual data we acquired and we used also the yeah, data from the WFU picket less. 
So we got yeah, nice individual specific maps. So the, what, what did we do with this uh, segmentation? Uh, it, uh, basically it's looking at the regional level. So um, we, uh, for each pixel within this uh, uh, personalized brain map, we looked within a sphere of, uh, with a diameter of two centimeters, and then we uh, derived a z-score, uh, which is uh, the signal intensity uh, minus the mean of all the voxels within this sphere, divided by the standard deviation. And um, so for each pixel, we, we then have a z-score, and then there were some selection criteria. First of all, the z-score had to be uh, higher than two, the cluster size had to be higher than 26 pixels, so you don't, you're not interested in, uh, in uh, only, of lesions of only one pixel. And furthermore, the, you know, we're looking at white metal lesions and not at yeah, gray metal lesions, so we, we wanted to make sure we're not uh, detecting any uh, lesions within the gray matter. And um, for the classification of the periventricle white metal lesions, we, um, we used uh, the distance of the clusters to the ventricle maps, and those had to be open seven centimeters. Um, and then eventually we obtained uh, the volumes of the subcortical white metal lesions and periventricle white metal lesions in uh, square millimeter. We did some statistics, so uh, we, we looked at the agreement between the two techniques, so the visual and the automatic uh, assessment. We used the Spearman rank correlation coefficient and integral correlation coefficient. We used Spearman instead of Pearson because um, the, um, the population we assessed was not really homogeneous, so there was no Gaussian distribution of lesions, so then it's better to use a, a Spearman rank correlation. So these are, this is an example of uh, the results. On the left you can see the, the flare. So yeah, there are some bright uh, spots there. On the right you can see the, um, the gray matter map as uh, obtained from uh, SPM2. And uh, on C, the, these are the, the dots that are, of the, uh, the pixels that are as, um, assigned to uh, subcortical white metal lesions. And on the right you can see a pure ventricle uh, white metal lesions. So there's this here an error, you can, yeah, it's maybe hard to see here, but there is a bright spot here, which you might think that it's a white metal lesion, however, uh, the, bright, the, the spot is located within the uh, gray matter, so then, therefore it's not a white metal lesion. So therefore it, the or technique didn't um, get any uh, yeah, white metal lesion there. So these are the results, so on the, y-axis there's the visually assessed uh, scores and on the uh, x-axis there's the automatically assessed and the dotted line is the x equals uh, uh, y line so yeah it's not perfect but it's quite a nice uh, correlation so the Spearman's row is uh, open seven and it's significant if you then look at the um, so this is for subcortical, uh, for the periventricle uh, white metal lesions. We didn't, um, so the visual assessment only uh, yielded the score, not uh, a volume. However, if you then look at uh, yeah, the correlation again with Spearman, then it's also nice. Yeah, not perfect, but nice enough uh, correlation. So uh, the results. Um, there's a nice uh, agreement between the two techniques for the subcortical uh, white metal lesion. The, the Spearman row was open 7, the ICC was open uh, 92, so quite high. And for periventricle white metal lesions, the Spearman row was open 65. Um, so the discussion, the, the high ICC is in agreement with the uh, previous literature. Uh, I listed here some uh, ICC values from other studies using uh, automatic uh, detection algorithms. Um, Admiral Belou et al. Uh, reported the ICC of open 98 and uh, 100 elderly patients. And uh, Wu et al. Uh, reported the ICCs of uh, open 82 to uh, open 96 in six uh, multiple sclerosis patients. So our, uh, our ICC is in agreement with previous literature. Uh, however, we have to say that uh, the, the population we um, examined in this uh, study is, um, yeah, is known to have rather um, yeah, mild white metal lesions. So if we, if we would uh, test our uh, technique on uh, more severe forms,
forms of white matter lesions, for example in uh, elderly or MS patients, might be beneficial for the detection uh, of a technique. Uh, however, in the end, uh, it's, it's hard to, uh, to evaluate the merit of a certain technique when, uh, when you don't have a gold uh, standard assessed of pathology, but, yeah, but it remains a problem, I guess, for most segmentation uh, techniques. So, uh, to conclude, um, our uh, automated white metal lesion detection algorithm using a regional z-score analysis I was able to successfully uh, segment and quantify white metal lesions on uh, flare images and this was validated by uh, the high correlations of the uh, automatic technique with the uh, visual grade. So, thank you for your attention and I want to um, uh, say that uh, the, the, the paper is now in present investigative radiology and will come out in August. So thank you.